I used to love taking stuff apart. I used to take all of my toys apart when I was a kid, which I think is something that a lot of sort of inventors or designers do. I think I've probably been a customer of RS for about 15 years. I think that's when I first found the RS catalogue. And I can remember it was like heaven. Yeah, so I mean, I guess it's really funny because RS are actually supplying the form box. And so we've kind of gone full circle. I also used to live in a hotel. And so we used to have a lot of guests coming into that hotel. Every single day I'd have breakfast with people from all over the world. And a lot of those were engineers. And so I think I sort of gained a lot of inspiration from them when I was very young. So my first job following graduation was at a company called Mint Digital, which is actually where I met my business partner, Alex Malansky, and I made physical things. So I sat a lot, spent a lot of time sort of sat in the corner, knocking up prototypes, uh, which were also always quite strange things. And I built this tiny little projector. And so I found myself out in China, and that's where I saw that they were using these massive vacuum formers on an industrial scale. And at that point, I spoke to Alex and said, why don't you leave Mint and come and make this in, insane thing uh, with me? And so what really fascinated us about this idea of making the world's first desktop factory is that everyone's really into 3D printing and everyone's building 3D printers like nobody's business. But 3D printing is just one of the processes that they're using there. And what we're really interested in doing is miniaturizing a lot of those other, other processes so people have access to them. The form box is a desktop vacuum former. And the form box is interesting, I guess, is because we've made it a lot smaller by removing the pump out of it and you use your standard vacuum cleaner. The form boxes are on people's desks. People are making really cool stuff with them. That's incredibly exciting for us. One of the really interesting things that we saw the other day was a company who had made a short run of toys and they couldn't make the blister pack packaging and so they got a form box. They churned out 50 of these things and they looked incredibly professional and they sold out in a single night. So we were super proud to see that happen. And what we find the most useful about the form box is if you 3D print one thing, you can literally take it straight out of the 3D printer and multiply that thing a hundred times in a couple of hours and then cast that mold in such a wide variety of materials. You know, we've had people working with resins, with concrete, all of these different edibles as well, chocolate, jelly, it's just, opens up the doors to 3D printing so much more. But yeah, I mean, everything we've seen with kids using it so far, because it's so simple to use, and it's so captivating when you actually see the plastics up around it, they just get incredibly excited. Something being vacuum I mean, that, I, I can still remember the first time I saw a vacuum formula and was just like, that is really cool. And I still get excited now when, when you see like a good form happen. I think that's something very special. What would I say to any kid? I mean, just take everything apart. Take everything apart possible. Learn how things work. Um, I broke a lot uh, when I was a kid, um, still do. But I don't think anyone knows what they're doing, so don't worry about it. And just, yeah, just make stuff every day as much as you can. My name is Benjamin Redford. I'm the director of Meku, and <laughs> I still try and break things. <laughs>